Hey guys, it's Ashton Lua here and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a clicker simulator inside Roblox. So in this, this is part one of the tutorial. Of, in this series I'll show you how to do different parts of a clicker simulator. So in this episode we're just going to do like the basics, just the click button, the leader stats and the clicks, GUI that shows you how many clicks you have. So let's just get into it. So first of all you want to go to service script service, click the plus icon, click script, then we just want to name this to leader stats. Then once we've done that, get rid of this and we want to go to But anyway, once you've done that, go back here and go to Replicated Storage and click the plus. You're going to add a folder. And I'm going to name this folder Remotes. And click the plus again. Click for Remote Event. And then after you've done that, you want to name this to Click. So we're just going to leave that for now. I'm going to go to Start a GUI, add a new screen GUI. And click the plus again and add a frame. This is going to be the actual button that we click to get, you know, clicks <laughs> to increase the clicks value. So now, once you have this frame, we're going to name this frame clicks frame. So like that, just size it up. Then you're going to make this transparent and then you're going to add the text button this is actually going to be the button that you click and make this 0 0.2 0, 0 0.25 comes in. that's not it <laughs> just make about this big pull it down the bottom in the center and then th th this is the button so you can just customize it however you want I'm just going to customize it real quick. Then you want to click the plus here, go to image label, and this is going to be just your click icon. So if we go to the button and get rid of this text, and then change the size of it to something like. And then change the transparency to zero. And then you can just go in the toolbox for an image. I'm gonna just try to get a quick one. And paste that in. And there we go, we actually have the icon now. Just name this something just like icon. Yeah. Okay. Then once you've done that, go into button. I'm gonna add a local script. Just it doesn't matter where you name the script, just name it. Click and delete this. Now once you've done this, you actually want to go to the click script, click the plus icon and add a sound. This is the sound that plays when you click the button. So if we go to audio, just have mouse click. There we go. So that will play every time we click. So once you've done that, you want to go back to server script service and you want to click the plus again. I'm going to add another script and you can name this to click manager and delete this obviously. So once you've done this, you want to click out of all these scripts and we want to go back to start GUI, close this and we may as well name this GUI while we're here so we'll just name it main GUI and then we want to add another frame, this is going to be the frame where it shows how many clicks you have, 
so if we just make this a little bit bigger. Go, okay. I mean that's a bit too big, but shrink it down a bit. I mean in a second. So go to add a text label in here. Change the size of this. And then just customize this however you want. So I'm just gonna quickly. Again, it doesn't matter what you put in here because when we actually make this work, the number will be how many clicks you have. I'm gonna name this to title. And then we can actually add the icon. So if we add an image label, then change the size of this. It's scaled up. Let's make the background invisible. Then we can use this icon. So we just copy that. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Yes, I do. So we copy this and then put this in here. Then you can see we've got the icon. I actually move it a bit closer though. There we go. So now once we've done, I will get a better icon for next episode, but that's how it's just going to be for now. So if we name this icon and go to title, click the plus, add another local script, and this will just be value changed. And now. So if you click play now and load in it will work. So if we just wait for it to load, there we go. And if we click, it does actually change. There we go. So that is it for this episode of the Clicker Simulator series. If you want to see a part two, then let me know down in the comments below. Like if this helped and if you're stuck on anything, I'm always in the comments to help. So yeah, I'll see you in the next series, uh, what, the next video, <laughs> not series, I'm, I'm not doing another series yet.